Welcome back to my channel, honest reviews of everything. Today is a very, very special day for myself. I've waited the best part of three months for this particular day and it's finally arrived and it is new car day. Any ideas what I've got? Check out this. Okay, and here she is. The car I've decided to treat myself to is a brand new BMW 2 Series 218i M Sport. I think you'll agree as we do a little bit of a walk around, it's a pretty nice, impressive car. One of the main reasons I went for it, I've, I've always been a big fan of the 1 Series, but I just felt that that particular car was a little bit too small, and the 2 Series have only ever normally been in a two-door coupe, but because of I'm a family man, I've got a couple of kids, this new release of the Grand Coupe, which has just come out around about a year or so now, just perfectly fitted the bill. Just a quick little walk around to start off with, and then we'll start getting into some of the, the finer details. But I'm sure you'll agree, quite a nice, mean looking car. We've got the traditional M Sport badge on the side there, as well as standard M Sport 18 inch rims. Really, really nice. Really like these wheels. I did toy with the idea about getting black, but I don't know. I thought black on black door really well, much more like a drug dealer. No, so I went with the traditional silver, which is very, very nice. I'm sure you'll agree. As I said, I'm a bit of a family man, so my previous car was a VW Tiguan 4x4. So I didn't really want to lose too much boot space. So if we just open this up here, oh, there we go. Inside the boot, very, very good depth on it. And we also have the lift up floor, which creates even more space. So comfortably be able to get weekly shops in there, push chairs if required, golf clubs, suitcases for those long overdue holidays. As we continue walking around the car, me being six foot three, I'm quite, I have to have my seat quite well back. So as we get into the back here, oh, still plenty of leg room, knees not really touching the seats, plenty of space. There's something about a brand new car smell that I just love. It's just a fantastic feeling. And there we have, the front cockpit of the car as well which i'll get round to shortly but yeah very very nice very nice indeed back here lots of space we've got the couple of usb-c charger points which is good to see and then up here we've got the reading lights as well another feature i like about this car keeps it looking really sporty you've got the frameless windows very very nice indeed and now let's take a little step inside and talk about the interior of the car let's close her up because it's freezing okay so yes very very nice indeed <laughs> i keep repeating myself but i've just got the biggest smile you can imagine ever on my face right now Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, this car is brand new out the factory. I just had it delivered off the back of a BMW lorry, which was interesting considering I live in a very small cul-de-sac, as you can see there. We've literally got nine miles on the clock. And I really love this digital display from BMW. Like I said, it's definitely one of the, the nicer ones that I have seen. Very, very nice. And it's complemented well by this elongated touchscreen i believe it's about 10.5 or 11 inches very very nice indeed all touchscreen also you can use the classic bmw rotary wheel down there and we've got the gear stick with the um, m sport trim as well as the steering wheel again with the m sport on there all your mobile phone can be controlled from there you've got your cruise control very very nice leather steering wheel great feel to it and have a little look around the rest of the cabin i chose the blue leather sorry i chose the black leather with blue trim i don't know if you can see that there but very very nice automatic stop start on the engine 
So the particular model I chose was the 218 Grand Coupe M Sport. Oh, I wasn't too sure whether to go with the diesel, but I, I decided on the petrol because I've, I've had diesel cars a lot just of recently and with the emissions changes that are coming up shortly in the future, I decided to opt for petrol on this one. And this is only a 1.5, but it is turbo injected. Um, very, very pokey. I've had a little drive just off the back of the lorry round into the cul-de-sac and I'm going to take it for a more detailed drive shortly. But I believe it's just under 140 brake horsepower. 0 to 60 in 8.7 seconds so very very quick very very nice very very economical one of the other things i do like about this car is just the way the the seats just grip and hug you there's so many different adjustments that you can do to get that perfect driving position but you feel like you're you're in in almost like a, a shell a cocoon it's, it's a really good feeling also, as I said, I'm 6'3", 6'4", six, six, and there's plenty of headroom between myself and the top of the car. So, very, very comfortable drive and position. As I look around, like I said, the mirrors, everything just seems to be in the right place, and that I really, really love. Just down here, we've got the automatic lights, which are complemented by LEDs on this particular model, the daytime, and really, really great visibility on a nighttime. We've got the auto wipers just through there as well this particular center dash i know we've talked a little bit about the touch screen on there i'm still sort of like torn as to whether i use the touch screen which i always used in my previous car or the wheel down the bottom i suppose that'll be personal choice but i seem to get on better with the touch screen at the moment we've got hazards um all the main air conditioning climate control all inside of there as well as the classic bmw preset station buttons which are all on there which um i don't really know if you need nowadays but it's still very very good to see on there i'm not quite sure where the cd player is i'm going to find that shortly plenty of storage space in this particular car in the sides of the doors we've got the m sport trim just there a couple of cup holders as well as a place for your key as i've already said it's keyless start so put on the clutch push the button and away we go all bells and whistles all on there just adjusted my camera there glove box again lovely blue trim going across the top of the dash there isn't the usual spot to put stuff up there i've been used to that on my last couple of cars but it's not to be this time. Again, plenty of storage, speaker system, very, very good. I didn't go for the upgrade on the Harman Kardon, but this is plenty loud enough for myself. Again, the seats and plenty of storage back there in both of the doors. Good driving position, rear windows. There's been some feedback around over the shoulder position. I do tend to use over the shoulder quite a lot. But I can't really see there being an issue with that. And if you've got the wing mirror set up in the correct position, then there shouldn't be a problem either. Very nice steering wheel. I love the feel of that. Thick, bulky, you, you know us there. So um, that's a very, very basic car review. I've probably not gone through half of the details. I'm just obviously very, very excited to receive a new car. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it for a test drive, have a little bit of a spin round over the next few days, and then I'll probably come back and do a little bit of a revisit on this particular car, how I think it drives, how I believe it handles, which is supposed to be really, really well, with this being one of the few BMWs which is front-wheel drive, based on the same sort of design as the 1 Series, which, like I said, I, I really, really liked. But today is a very, very good day. I'm very, very happy. If you like this very basic review please hit the subscribe like i'm still waiting for that first subscriber but um, i'm going to keep going keep on adding my kind of reviews i'm not going to be able to do a car like a review like this every single day this is like once every two or three years i get a car like this unless there's any manufacturers or car dealerships out there that want me to do a very basic video i'll be more than happy to promote a car like i say this is something that i feel I'd, I'd like to keep on going with but yeah 
honest reviews of everything. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. Really, really appreciate it. Have a great day. Mine's fantastic and I'll speak to you all again soon.